So, Grace, thank you so much for joining us here at Zero Dark Nerdy. How is your uh, press day going? I know these things can be a little hectic and chaotic, and hopefully yours is off to a good start. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Couldn't be better. I love I love nerding out and talking about stuff I've worked on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on, the, you're on the perfect podcast being Zero Dark Nerdy. So, so good. <laughs> There you go. So the film Fall coming out uh, tomorrow, select theaters nationwide Friday. You know, what are your feelings about it? I got to check it out two weeks ago, and I have to say I thoroughly loved it, but I cannot wait to see it on the big screen because if it looked this amazing on my television, Hmm. I cannot wait to see it in a theater. So just tell me a little bit just kind of like what fans are in for for this film. Oh, gosh. I I mean – fans are going to have a physical reaction. I mean, they're going to be in that theater and just feel their palms sweating and their heart racing. And I, I, I got the opportunity to watch it with an audience a couple of days ago. And I had as much fun watching it as watching everyone's reaction. I was like, <laughs> and then I was like looking down at, you know, whoever was in front of me just going, Oh my goodness, look at, look at him. Look at him. He's so excited. You know, and um, my brother was with me and he leapt to the edge of his seat. And, you know, I've told him everything that happened yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Uh, Cause I can't, I'm really bad with spoilers. Uh, yeah. But he, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. He was like on the edge of his seat going, Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it was like, Oh, it's getting you, huh? So get ready to be shocked, terrified, <laughs> and taken over, honestly. I can agree with everything you said 100%. I was literally on the edge of my seat pulling for you, and your character is Becky, and yeah. uh, Virginia Ginny is is Hunter, pulling for you both the entire time, because I will say Scott and, and the team just did a tremendous job of making the audience feel like we are up there with you. Yeah. And uh, apparently, so this was filmed like right off a cliff, the majority of it, right? And how intense was that for you? Um, I mean, it was pretty uh, awe-inspiring. When we climbed up the tower for the first time, I teared up because sure. it's so stunning. And the desert is beautiful yeah. um, with the sunrise and the sunset. And we got to film during those times frequently. So um, I, I mean, every day we were out there, it was grueling. but the crew and and all of us would be kind of taking pictures of the sunset at the end of the day, even though it was time to go home. We were just like, oh, this is so pretty, you know, even though we were so tired. But uh, yeah, I I mean, it it, it was really immersive and Mm -hmm. honestly such a privilege to get to shoot in that setting because you just don't always get that as an actor. Yeah. It was like, I was a little girl playing pretend. It was amazing. Gotcha. Now, I also heard that, you uh, you know, this was during the pandemic and whatnot. So the uh, audition process had to take place via Zoom. And Scott, mm-hmm. when we interviewed him yesterday, said he went through, you know, dozens and dozens of auditions and that you and Jenny just knocked it out of the park and especially via Zoom. Now, was this something that you, you two maybe got together off camera in practice or just straight? Just, hey, let's get Who into it. Who told you? <laughs> no, no, I'm Who curious. Told you? Yeah, I, I slid into Jenny's DMs. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I got a couple names of actors, um, that I'd be doing a chemistry read with and I, uh, yeah, I hit them up and, uh, worked with a couple, but Ginny and I ended up working for two days over zoom. I mean, wow. over FaceTime. Um, and it, it you know, I'll, I'll tell you, it's really hard doing a, a chemistry driven scene over zoom sure. where, I mean, you're not in the same room. You don't know what temperature the room is, but the air feels like, what outside ambient sounds they're dealing with. It's so interesting. You're you're just in total different worlds talking at each other. Um, So we really dove into our our characters. And I think that little session for us was a a big shaper for each of our characters and, and how they ended up being presented in the film. Nice, nice. Now, did you uh, actually get to see the, I want to make sure I got this right, the the BG7 TV tower, like in person? I didn't. I didn't get to see it. But, you know, when I booked fall, I was in Colorado and um, I was road tripping back from there with um, my then boyfriend, now husband. (laughs) I went at the time and uh, it was pretty precious. We're driving back and 
there's plenty of TV towers when you're driving on the freeway. Mm -hmm. And he just turned down this random dirt road and we had a little bit of an adventure of our own. He was my hunter, you know, and uh, we didn't climb the tower, but we got really close to a super tall one to just kind of see what is it like. And um, I have some footage of that, which is kind of fun, but yeah, I, I got to see a TV tower and I was watching YouTube videos of people climbing 2000 foot sure. towers and the, all, all of that. Sure. I, I, and I got to say, I, I've never, I haven't felt this immersed in a film. I can't tell you in, in a long time. I mean, just the cinematography, the, the, the acting, I mean, when it's just you two, and I know you've been used to ensemble cast, Shazam, yeah. things like that. So when it's just you two and then battling the elements, not to throw any spoilers out there, but some creatures <laughs> as well. <laughs> you know, what was that experience like, you know, and how was Scott guiding you through it as far as just, okay, expectations, things like that. And as an actress, how exciting is that for you? Because it's like, hey, all eyes are on me right now. <laughs> and your coach star of course and the tower <laughs> oh yeah but it is just the the two of us um I, it's pretty precious to get to be responsible for so much of a story when you're in an ensemble you know you get a bite-sized chunk a bite-sized moment and it might be a good moment but it's small and sometimes you're told on set oh one of your moments got cut <laughs> and we can't have it in the finished movie that happened to me on shazam and i was like if it makes the movie better right on. <laughs> um, but no, it, it was, um, it was really intimate. And um, I, I feel like Scott really prepped us expectation wise by we rehearsed in his backyard oh, wow. ahead okay. of time. And he built um, a platform that was the same scale as that tiny platform that we're on for yeah. that movie. Cause we had to figure out, you know, how are we going to sleep on this thing? How sure. are we going to do some of the more pivotal scenes and so we rehearsed back there um, and, and, and discussed the more um, heavy weighted scenes so that when we were actually high up and Scott's directing us through the bullhorn, it, it, we were prepped almost like a play. Um, wow. And, and Scott, is, uh, Scott is incredibly receptive and inviting, at least he was to me, about how I felt about Becky, how I wanted to represent her. There were times that I had a different take on Becky and I wanted to play with her anger more. Um, and, and Scott let me do that. And it was, I think a really nice payoff. He and I are really happy that we get to see her anger um, and that she's not just sad the whole time, but there's uh, those, those, those different waves of emotion. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, I gotta say, I know we gotta wrap up here because you got more press. Yeah, yeah. I do have a, a question from the fans as we are a pop culture podcast. A lot of the fans are wanting to know when you're not filming your amazing movies that you're in, are, are you into rock climbing? And if not, you know, what other things are you into as far as TV shows, movies, books, things like that? Okay. Well, I had a rock climbing membership for a hot second and I was bouldering and that was really fun. Um, I just did belaying the other day, you know, actually climbing all the way up and gosh, that's even better. Cause then you're able to really be locked in and, and kind of assess the problem. So I do, I do enjoy rock climbing. It's kind of similar for me to ballet. Cause I have a massive ballet, ballet background. Um, yeah. so it's technical, it's in your body, it's in your head at the same time. Um, but yeah, no, I enjoy ballet, I enjoy rock climbing, um, and I'm always watching really depressing, intense Christian Bale movies, I'd say. That's, that's, my, <laughs> that's my consumption. <laughs> Nothing like the machinist to get your day going. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yep. great. Thank, you. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Be sure to check out Fall on the biggest screen you could possibly find. We wish you success and nothing less. Thank you again for your time and enjoy the rest of your press day. Thank you so much.